This is Melissa Orozco with LBLN. We're on the promenade today in downtown Long Beach, visiting with kind of a new sandwich shop. In fact, it's been here for a year now. It's called the Foundation Sandwich Shop, and it's a gym here in the city. Let's go meet with the owner, Ian Gonzalez. Hi, Ian. It's so nice to meet you. My pleasure. Congratulations on this beautiful sandwich shop. I saw earlier that I saw earlier I saw earlier that you have so many interesting different types of sandwiches. Yes. First of all, I'd like to introduce you to our audience. You are a Long Beach native. Yes, born and raised. That is so awesome. But you went to culinary school in New York. Right, the CIA, the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York. And you brought back this incredible education, information for all of us to enjoy. This isn't your average sandwich shop. This is quite the artisan specialty shop. Yes, that was the goal, to bring something a little different that people can understand but also appreciate the, the artisan, you know, culinary aspect that's going into it. So It's definitely a sandwich elevated. Some of your specialty sandwiches, tell us the names, tell us the ingredients. Uh, probably the number one is the Mexicali chicken. Um, it's a house roasted chili spice chicken. They were used uh, all white meat. Um, we put uh, our own pickle red onions, uh, uh, smashed avocado, a chipotle aioli, pepper jack cheese, and cilantro. And then we toast it in our oven to make it nice and crispy. You have a short rib sandwich. Yes, we braise our own short ribs. And then that's served uh, with uh, wild arugula and then garlic aioli. Very special sandwiches. You put these together yourself with your expertise. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. When it's the fun. The first thing that this shop reminded me of was it reminds me of New York. A little bit, yeah. I mean, I think that in New York, there's a big emphasis on frequencing uh, delis, having nice meats, having, you know, uh, an abundance of flavor between the bread. And that's what I wanted to achieve here. You definitely did with a little California flair. Can we go back in your kitchen and kind of investigate, take a look around? Let's go check it out. Okay, I, uh, some of my friends have been talking about this Italiano. Obviously, the turkey avocado BLT is quite quintessential. That's very popular. It's kind of a must-have, in my opinion, for a, a sandwich shop. Um, you know, it's all fresh. The bacon we roast in-house. Everything's, everything's delicious. But the ones I would highlight really are, like you said, the Italiano, which is just, it's really has a ton of flavor because we make the garlic ole, we make the tapenade. You know, everything's done fresh. Um, the Mexicali chick that I mentioned earlier. And then the last one that I say that people, you know, are always surprised to see is the kind of Cuban. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a different version of the Cuban sandwich. That was really good. On the tip of my tongue, I was going to bring that up. I'd also like to point out you have really beautiful vegetarian vegan options. Yeah. I think that it's important to have a, a diverse menu. Um, not everyone wants to eat meat or eat, uh, you know, uh, animal products. So we have, we try and, you know, hit all the marks on the menu. Well, you certainly do. You also have salad offerings. I see you have a combo chips or cookie with a fountain drink. Yes. This is a one-stop shop. What can we see be put together today? Uh, let's do the Italiano. Let's do it. Yeah. Get some on. Yeah. So... He roasts his own chicken. You can see all these beautiful fresh ingredients. I'm sure you really are a connoisseur of what's the best, what's the freshest. Yeah, I mean, you always have to make in-house. You're not going to get store-bought product that tastes the same. You know, you want that home feeling to it. Um, and also, I can create and control the flavors that go into the sandwich. That's a chef for you. And the caveat, the thing that I love the most is the French bread. I love French bread for sandwiches. Yeah, so you can see that this one has a nice crusty exterior, but it's really soft on the inside. So it's going to leave a few crumbs on your shirt, but I think that's kind of the quintessential, you know, feel that you want when you go to a deli. I love it. I love French rolls. This is one size for each sandwich. It's about seven to eight inches of beautiful, artisanally created sandwiches. I see olive tapenade going on first. Right. We make this fresh in house. So this has uh, green olives, black olives, roast red peppers, um, capers, olive oil, you know, and some seasoning. Beautiful. Next is, it looks like it's a pesto. It's a basil pesto. Yeah, basil pesto. It's a fresh basil pesto and then a garlic aioli. Garlic aioli. It's going to have a little bit of flavor to it. That looks amazing. Yeah, and then we're going to travel down over here to the section where we make it. 
So we uh, start off with our um, roast red peppers, nice healthy portion. And then we have a, a, a mortadella. This is a, a pistachio mortadella. Um, so I want to make sure you can see the pistachios in it. Um, this is really flavorful. It's, some people don't know what it is, but it's kind of like a fancy bologna, but it's like the authentic bologna. It's, 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 it's you know, an Italian uh, delicacy that everyone loves. It has a lot of nice fat flavor into it, um, and it has whole peppercorns. And then a Genoa salami. So we use a nice uh, big uh, round one. It's about three inches wide. So we have three meats on this. And then we wanted to add a little bit of um, heat. So this is a spicy calabrese. Not too spicy where it's going to... Um, you know, burn your mouth, but it has a lot of flavor. And then we finish it off with uh, fresh mozzarella. So this is a fior de latte, which means it's made with fresh um, cow's milk versus buffalo milk. This, you're definitely not skimpy on the meat. I can see that. Right. It, we try and give a good healthy portion. This is, looks delicious. And I love the combination. This is not something that you're going to see every day or at your average sandwich shop. No, I hope not. I don't think so. Let's try that. Don't keep me waiting. A diagonal slice, you could see all its beauty. Yeah, yeah, just trying to make it nice for that. I'm going in. Look at all that meat, that's beautiful. Mm. It tastes like a vacation. Well, I hope it's a vacation in Italy. It is beautiful. That is an exceptional sandwich. Yeah, I, I think people really enjoy it. I had fun putting it together. It was many iterations that we went through to get it right, but I'm happy with the end result. I cannot wait to try all your other varieties. I'm so glad I discovered this place. You too need to discover it. If you want a vacation in your mouth <laughs> without having to travel, definitely come down here and check out the Foundation Sandwich Shop. It's, again, a really special treat. We have a classically trained chef who, by the way, is a local Long Beach artisan come down and support your local businesses thank you so much congratulations thank you appreciate you guys coming in all right i'm taking this to go we're out of here <laughs>